everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vay Nerd Chuck. And this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate wine program. And this is an exciting day because uh, we get to do things that a lot of people like, multiple things. One, the all-time most popular guest is on the show. Favorite, favorite all-time favorite. Popular favorite, same you know, kind of thing. Uh, Sasha Vaynerchuk, my dad, is on the show. Dad, how you doing? Looking good? Love you. Well, could be better. Jets upset you? Jets. You know, so. I'm um, retiring from Jets, I think. You, but you say that every year. I know. And then I say she was a killer. And, uh, and we brought out the brown paper bags. So uh, that and makes no it fun. And no food. And no food. No food. And you look snazzy, Dad. I know you've uh, you've made a big New Year's resolution to wear a tie right. to work every day. Looks nice. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. And so is our key employees. Yes, I saw. Some people on the on the uh, Cinderella forum called me out and said, uh, you know, I should, you know, wear. Th no, that, that no, what? No, no. What, what he said was, did you see this right, one, Matt? Right, that, right, right, right. That I made a happy atmosphere. So why did we go this route? That what's we spent. Wrong, that we, what's wrong with? He uh, equated he equated ties with like not as happy kind of thing. I respect it. I understand what he was I saying. Don't, I don't but it looks I don't, great. I, don't, I, don't, I think the store looks great. Absolutely. Everybody's happy. All absolutely. right. So what we have here is brown paper bag, Cabernet, or or California. I don't remember exactly what I told Kamer, but from the new wine advocate, Robert Parker Wine Advocate. So highly scored, I assume, uh, wines, maybe not. Um, but brown paper bag blind, and we're going to taste them, Dad. We're going to give our scores, and we're going to unveil them. All and right? no food. And no food. So uh, wine number one. Mott. Can we zoom, zoom? All right. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. We got two bad, big ass glasses here. Right. And uh, so let's see what's going on. So let's give it a, a sniffy sniff. Mmm. Now you like Cabernet. Yep. But you well, also, but we, you know, we were out for AJ's birthday last Friday. Sauvignon Blanc was. Uh, I ordered Sauvignon Blanc. Phenomenal. Yeah, the nose, the nose was. Just... And you were you're skeptical about white yes. wine in general. No, it's not true. No? In the summertime, I, I like uh, actually. It's very funny. I used to make uh, fun of people. You know, they drink white wine in the summertime, red wine. In... But now you become no. one of them. Yeah. See what happens. You see what happens. Should keep your mouth shut, right? So what are you uh, what are you getting on the nose, Dad? For you, you like this nose? Yeah. That's. It's nice. It's, it's, it's you know, <laughs> have anything or? Yeah, just... yeah. That's a lot of fruit uh, in, you know, but it's a, uh... what do you smell? <laughs> well, you want, you, my yeah, turn? Yeah. Well, I think it's oaky, and I think what you're well, smelling. Well, that's uh, a I think what you're, I think what you're, I think what you're smelling is yeah. vanilla. It's you know you like vanilla extract. I get vanilla. No, it's, I get it's very pungent. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's an aggressive nose. Yes. Um, right. It's big. It's big because of the big. oak. I mean, it, it yeah. feels like there's some new oak that they're going on. There's a whole kind of like the whole very you know nice. vanilla. It's a little piece of cork. A uh, little vanilla, kind of cinnamon, butterscotch, um, creme brulee kind of component. Then there's also this like pretty distinct blackberry, blueberry, dark fruit thing going on for me. You know, it smells kind of like a little too new world, but as you guys have known, my palate's been veering a little bit towards the new world a little more. It's a little bit big on the nose, but let's give it a whirl. Try it already? Mm. It's okay. What do you think? It's okay. It's I'm not... surprised you don't like it more, I'll tell you why. Why? You know what it tastes like to me a lot? Mm. Camus. Yeah. It smells very Camus-like, yeah. and tastes very, very well, right? And you like but you, but you know what? Mm. I develop, I think. Uh, I like older wine. You're starting to go, huh? You're starting to crack? You're start, you're, we're going, once again, we're going in the opposite direction. That's amazing. <laughs> God damn you're really, amazing. You're, yeah. you're going in the other way a little yeah. bit. So mm -hmm. this style that you were obsessed with, right. now and pretty much for the last right. 10 years, right now it's, it's a I little too know. fruity for you? Yeah. It was interesting. The way you reacted to Sauvignon Blanc I thought was interesting too. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I did too. So this is a little too fruity for you. Mm -hmm. But it is Camus-like. Yeah. It's very Camus-like. If you're a Camus fan, I'll tell you what that means. I love to me, it's really fruit-driven, very smooth, good balance. The mm -hmm. alcohol's in check. Mm -hmm. You don't taste the alcohol. There's good balance. This is a very well-made, 
new world fruit bomb style wine. And so, you know, I'm not a, I'm not completely um completely against this style. Brant? Yeah. Go ahead. Um so let me see what I'm gonna do here. I put my score and my guess on there. And what do I do? You do it as well. That's my score and guess. That's my score, not my guess of what the score is. That's my personal score. That's your personal score. And then I have a guess for price, just for fun. Uh, price, uh, who the hell knows what's California price? Uh, you know what? Probably 65. Okay. All right. All right, why number one? Number one. I can't drink without food. Really? You think I'm getting old? No. I think that's just how uh, you experience my, uh, wine. Yeah. In general. Actually, you know. Little rinse that. I don't. I don't drink wine till I have a little bit of food. And you don't like drinking on an empty yeah. stomach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move on to wine number two. Matt, ready for the zoom in? Oh, caps. So I guess they're all caps. Uh, the answer is that. Actually, I made a mistake. I put my scores on the under yours. I should be above. Why? Well, why? You know, competitive. See. <laughs> why? Did you have to that, ask? That's, that's okay. I mean, it's not. You know, it's not. I don't think anybody's gonna see it. It's, it's fine. All right. Let's see what's going on here. This oh. one has an even darker color than the, the first wine, and a very different nose than the different first nose. wine. Different nose. Different nose. Right. What are you getting here, Dan? I like it. You know what? It's uh, uh, like cherries. I agree. Right? Yeah. Uh, a very. I actually like the nose. It remind, reminds me of cherries. Like from a real cherry tree. Yeah. Like real cherries. It's a real. Black not, cherries. Yeah. Not, you know, this artificial. You buy in shop, right? Right. Well, whatever. Mmm. Very. You know what else? Black currant. No? I agree 100%. I was going to say next, cassis. Yes, smells... cassis, exactly. You know, like you take One... this, a bottle of cassis and... Absolutely. Right? Wow. Yeah. That, I like it. You like it? Yeah. So I agree. Really good dark red fruits coming through on the nose. Ooh. Very clean. Not too over-oaked. But again, very candy new world. I mean, this is very, you know, expressive new world fruit. But a good nose. Let's give it a whirl. It's very smooth. I think it's well balanced. Right? Uh, what do you think? I'm, I'm, do you I think, think it's very uh, well balanced. It's, it's good, a good bottle of wine. What do you think of the finish? Actually, the finish is kind of... Tannic, right? Mm -hmm. But that's good. I actually think that's a good sign. I think that's, uh, it's, with the age, this wine would be a killer wine. This, you know, this also falls into the style of, you know, New World. I mean, I think that these flavors are just appealing to you more than the last wine because stylistically mm -hmm. there's similarities. You know, it's that textbook California like cab like that it. people like. Very smooth, silky, mm -hmm. good elegance. Silky. Very silky. More so than the prior wine. Right. And to right. me, this is what I always thought. Right, maybe it's okay. It mm -hmm. could be. Um, this, this reminds me a little bit more of, and I... And I don't think it is, but you know, it reminds me more of what people fell in love with Insignia for. What Insignia? So? I don't think it is Insignia. I don't, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I would be stunned if it was Insignia, but I'll tell you what it does do. I don't even think we have Insignia in stock. But what uh, what it does do is Insignia won over all mm. the wine drinkers because of its smoothness and silky it's in the mid palate. I will say one thing. I think it lacks a little depth. It's just delicious. And. I don't know. What's wrong with that? Nothing, but the same reason you're liking older wine is there's more things going on. It's kind of like the difference between the person... But that, we don't know what's going on. But think of it this, this way, Dad. You know how some people like you hang out with because they're fun, but mm -hmm. you wouldn't go into business with them? You know? Right. You know, that's the difference. This is right. fun. This is like a weekend friend, right? right? Maybe not somebody you want to spend every day with. Yeah, but you don't know. Excuse me, I can always be fun. I don't know what this wine is going to mean in five, seven years. Could be a totally different wine. Totally. Sure. You could have went to college with somebody who was fun to hang out with then, and then you went to business with them later. Just like, you know what? Because they grew up. Allegrini Amarone. Okay. I used to love this wine so much. And you put your rating in, in the price first. Higher. 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 
Uh, Good firm tannins on the finish. This wine will last for 15 yeah. to 20 years. Yeah. Easy, this perfect ribeye, yeah. you know, this is steakhouse yeah. wine. You know, if you go to the Morton's, Ruth Chris, you know, or, you know, actually, that's a great question. Question of the day, oh no, you'll get to ask it. Do it another time. All right, you got yours. Okay. Very, we're close. Uh, apart. Oh no, we're well, close. There's a reason I went that direction. Um, okay. Marketing? No, not marketing. Okay. <laughs> because I think it's I think it's one dimensional. You know? Alright. I like Let's rinse. One. Yep. Uh, listen, it's cool it's good to be one dimensional when that dimension is delicious. Yeah. Right? No, but the, the fruit was I mean the nose was uh, so distinct. Let's rinse, yep. So, Dad, how are your devils doing this year? Ah, oh, the intro. Are they, have they gotten this, any this, better lately? Yeah, they got a little bit better. Are they better than this? Yeah, but this uh, Jacques Lemaire. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't recall seeing devils play. Wine number three. Playing so poorly? poorly. Not since 1994. Right. When they were good, 93, 92, somewhere in that range. Ooh. All right, wine yeah, number yeah. three. Let's see what's happening here. So we continue with these, you know, wines. Obviously, these are really interesting wines. I, I wanted to do this together because these are the wines that I grew up on, and these are the wines you've been drinking for forever. forever. Oh. I mean, it's your style. You know what this smell reminds me? Oh, shit. Um, I don't know, I'll tell you. Um, no, it's no cursing. Kids watch this show. Mission. No, not Mission. <laughs> not yet. Um, mm, mm, this mm, is the most. Mm, this is the mm. most under control nose of the bunch. I no, think. Yeah. This, it's less. This, it's this, less powerful than last that's one. That doesn't remind me as a, a California wine at all. It doesn't. A little no. more Bordeaux like. Maybe Burgundy. Well, I wouldn't say really, because Burgundy. I this, just, you know what? It smells uh, Pinot Noir like too. No, yeah, it's this uh, smokiness. Yeah, it's this bacon um, fat. No, what is that? Raspberry. No, no, barnyard. No, no, no. Yes. You think this is barnyardy? Yeah. So is I will that, say this, and I was saying it first. It's the that, most balanced nose of the bunch. I would agree with you that it's. You know, I don't I think it's super barnyardy. No. I'll tell you what it is. I it's got a little barnyard. sulfur on the nose, so it smells a little bit like a match, which can be, you know, yeah. like a little. No. I mean, listen, everybody's got their own palate, so if that's what you're no, getting... No, I think it's, it's, that's what it is. It's more, you know... It's, it's got a really intriguing, like, burgundy. black blackberry thing going on. I, I do think there's a little, little, you know, kind of a... Almost like a gamey, meaty component on the mm -hmm. nose that I think is interesting. But there's also some distinct oak on this, and collectively, all three of these came across on the nose, in my opinion, as Cabernet. Um, I would never smell this and think Pinot Noir, which is burgundy, but, you know... I don't know. So it's... Sort of it, it's very, all three is so tell, different. Let me show you something yeah. that I think you'll find interesting. Don't break, don't do what I did in Puerto Rico. I remember. Yeah. Smell it now. I'm not joking. I think as this opens up, the stinkiness that you mm -hmm. saw is going to go away a little bit more mm -hmm. and more. Maybe need to does, a little bit more. Yep. Does it go away Disappear. a little bit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so, at first. Yeah. No, I agree. Because mine was, right? I was just swirling as you were talking and mm -hmm. I was losing it. Little fun fact. Oh, Matt even did a hmm. Little fun fact here. Always looking to educate for a fun fact, especially for the CKCs. Matthew? Matt said, hmm, hmm. and it's because it's a little fun fact. Wine? Well, yeah, he'll take some wine, yeah. but I mean, I think the fun fact is this. If you get a wine poured, you know, understand that the more That's you can beat it up place. and let it open up, you will have an opportunity to let a lot of the funkiness, a lot of times the sulfur, blow away. That's why decanting is so prevalent. But also, in the glass, a lot of good damage can be done. Let's give it a whirl. Taste it ready? What do you think? Not bad. Mm -hmm. All three wines is very different. Yeah, in a subtle way, mm -hmm. right? I think they're consistently Cabernet. I mean, to me, this wine, I like a lot. It's very powerful. It's, you know what this wine is? It's the well most powerful and biggest wine, but doesn't taste as over the top as the mm -hmm. second wine. 
And to me, this is kind of controlling your Cabernet for me a little bit. Um, very big wine, very powerful. I do taste a little of the heat on the back end, a little bit of the alcohol. So there's some structural things that I'm interested about. But overall, I love the nose and I love the balance. And to me, this seems more, you know, you know, balanced than, than the other wines on the palate with the little, except just a hair of the heat and tannins on the finish. But I can live with it because I, I like the structure of this wine. I like this wine a lot. I think it's a... You like the best out of the bunch? I think I might. I mean, really? I, I think I might. I want to... I actually like, in a different way, all, all three of them, you know? Yeah, but, but you, you can't be, you know, you got to make some decisions here. I mean, you can't just, you know... Right, right. You know, all the of a sudden you're politically the, the, correct? No, the price is, you know, I think the price is just doesn't mean anything. All right, so you here's know? what we've got. Uh, because we, it's we've not got... up to us to, you know... Sure. To price decide to what to price so he, between the wholesalers who make on margins. So here's um what I'm thinking. Let's see. I'm trying to get the average here. So this is my lowest scored wine and your highest scored wine. You scored this 92 to 93. Oh really? I did. And I went because 89. I like uh, okay. We I went you went 91 here. I went 92 here. I'm gonna take away the plus. And this one was the 90 and 91. So this. Consistently came in first. This on app. I mean, they're all pretty much in the same ballpark. I think we're just gonna unveil them. There was no. Wait a minute, you, you, you. We'll unveil your favorite last, out of respect, since you're the father. All right. So let's do this one first. We both like this wine number one. Um, I thought it was fifty bucks. You thought it was sixty-five bucks. Right. I scored it ninety-one plus. You scored it ninety. Right. I liked it. I thought this was a really good wine. Mm -hmm. and That's number what? Number one. And it's the Half Mile 2007 Proprietary Red from Obesidian uh, Ridge. And uh, this is 93 Parker, 56 bucks. So we're both close. Blend of Cab but, and Petite Bordeaux. You was at 50? Yep. I'm at 65. Yep, Obsidian Ridge, Half Mile 2007. Nice what red is, wine. There's a is, little Petite Bordeaux in it. And what is 93 Parker. And what right. did I give? 90. You gave it 90, I gave it 91 plus. All right, so that's wine number one. All right, then the third wine, which I like the best, I gave 92 points to. You gave it 91 points. You said 60, I said 75. So we both thought that it was pretty expensive stuff. Is the Schaefer 07 1.5 Cabernet, 93 points Parker, 60 bucks, 99% Cab, 1% Petit Verdot. What did I say? You get 60 bucks, you nailed it right on the dot. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> <laughs> you just said to me that you hate when I do that. I, I did this one first. Yeah, we're right. Whatever. What do you think I went Right in the morning. You got it, Dad. Nailed it, huh? You nailed it. 91 points. We sell 90. for 60. Retail is 75, which is my guess. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That. That's exactly what it's really? listed at. Anyway. Wow. And your yeah. favorite wine. I'm waiting for my food. Your favorite I'm wine. i drink more wine because food is coming. Your favorite wine. You gave 92 to 93 points. Big score. I gave 89 points to. You said 60, I said 57 bucks. Come on in, Just. Is the Ilaria 2007 Napa Cab, 56 bucks. Look at that, it was $1 off. And 93 I, Parker, 94% Cab, the rest is Petit Verdot. Ilaria, um, small producer, only 144 cases made. Now we can drink wine. Just, Thanks, thank Just. You. Just, what do you have here? You have... Uh... One of Sasha's favorite, the Volsterstahl, which is closer to you. Which one is that? It's the this Austrian. One? Oh, I love this. The seasonal Austrian one. Right. This is That's Abondance Fermier, and this is Schallerhocker from from Switzerland. These are both Alpine cheeses: French raw milk, Swiss raw milks, Austrian raw milk. That's a W, right? Yeah, Volsterstahl. That's, what, like that's what I. I like it. It's mild, but it's too cold. Yeah, it's, it's cold. Too, it's too it's cold. mild though. That's yeah. Well, it's elegant. Excuse me, it's a different, you know. So now I'm in business. It's almost sold out. It's not subtle complexity, it's boring. <laughs> Wait a minute, so uh, did I do well? Yeah. The last one. There was one. nothing to do well in. Wait a minute, what happened with the last one? The last one, we you scored 92 to 93, I scored 89 points. I nailed it, 93 points, huh? No, no you agreed with Parker. I, we agreed with there was Ro no, Robert. There was no, Bob. There was no nailing. Uh -huh. Actually, I said 57 bucks and it's 56 bucks. And what did I say? You said 60 for everything. It's not... <laughs> no. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? 60. Okay. 60.
Oh, 65? Yeah. 65, okay. And that's it. Okay. And that's it. That's it? That's it. How's cheese? Good. I love cheese. And this last one's good. Which one? It's got more flavor. You're, this is very bland, Dad. It's cold. It's too cold. Yeah? Oh, yeah. All right. It's very good. Dad, you get to ask the question of the day. I wasn't prepared. Well, this is show business. You gotta be ready. That's why I don't have uh, my own show. Why is that? Because you're not because ready? Because I'm not right. I'm sure you could handle I'm it. I'm actually, you know, question of the day. Oh, Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Who's going to win? Okay. What is the prediction? I think Green Bay is going to win. What do you think? We're rooting for Green Bay. Well, we're rooting for Green Bay, and I think Green Bay is going to win. Right. What do you think, Matt? Yeah. Green Bay. Yeah. I thought Green Bay would beat the Jets. Yeah. They were going to be a tough matchup, I thought. They're tough. Mm -hmm. They're hot. But they might have cooled off in these two weeks. And now they've like got all these problems. You heard about this with a team picture? Oh, yeah. What happened? Not a team picture. There's all sorts of drama. So you should really? follow it. You love that stuff. Thanks for being on the show, Dad. Yo. Love you. You! With a little bit of me. And me. And a whole lot of Dad. We're changing the wine world whether they like it or not.